What's up everybody? Billy Weisenstein here, Demo Crew Elite from Axe and Sledge. Today we're going to do a chest workout. 2020 has been wild. I, I haven't really been able to be in the gym probably since March up until I want to say maybe June. We all know how that went after that, but I'm here now. Honestly, thankfully, uh, I have been able to retain a lot of my muscle that um, I had been striving for and trying to put on before the pandemic hit. Um, I think I just lost that that pump look or that full look, so to speak. At least that's what my coach had been telling me. Um, and that's just due to not having that load that I'm pushing every day in the gym. So I've been training still. Um, it feels good. Um, I got my Axis Sledge supplements here. I take these daily. Um, now, when you're going through and you're taking supplements and you're training, obviously some of you are gonna roll your eyes and you're gonna say, well, what do you need the supplements for? If you're eating, if you're training, that's all I need. Well, I like them. I mean, it's they get me going. Um, the flavors are phenomenal. It's something I believe in. Obviously, as many of you know now, uh, I've been with Axe and Sledge for a little over a year and then I became a uh, Demo Crew Elite member. So. We're gonna get a chest workout today. Chest is probably, I'd say, one of my stronger uh, body parts. Ever since I started training, picking up dumbbells, barbells, I just had a bigger chest. Now, some can say it's genetics, some can say it's the supplements, it's the food, whatever you want. Uh, but regardless, whenever you're working your body parts, your muscles, you have to work them all the same way. So when I mean the same way, the same intensities, you can't really train your arms, go full force on your arms, and then do baby steps on your legs, okay? You need to train your legs just like how you train your arms. You need to train your back just like how you train your chest. So we're gonna get a chest workout today. First thing we're gonna go with, I like to get a little pre-workout, ignition switch from Axe and Sledge. This is actually the first product that I took with Axe and Sledge. Um, it's a little lower on the caffeine. Um, I'm not a stim guy. When it comes to the high, high stim pre-workouts and feeling jittery and feel like you're all cracked out, I don't like it. I like to feel a pump when I'm training. This is what I'm here for. I'm here to essentially chase a pump. So ignition switch uh, gives me a little bit of caffeine, uh, gives me a little bit of energy. It's only 162 milligrams and ignition switch, so that's perfect for me, just one scoop. Probably my favorite product, by far one of my top two, is Hydraulic. This is going to help you chase the pump, okay? It's gonna maximize the blood flow in your workout, okay? Great product. Next one is gonna be Demo Day. Demo Day is a rapid glycogen loader, so Again, a lot of people are going to speculate about carb products too as well. You don't need the extra carb powders if you're eating properly, timing, so on and so forth. I'm going to do about a half a scoop. I already took demo day today because I trained earlier this morning and did some hamstrings and glutes. So we're going to go half scoop of demo day. It's going to give me about 12 grams of carbs um, in a pre-workout, which is completely fine if you're having a pre-workout meal and it's heavy on the carbs, you don't really need to add any more. It's kind of how I feel about it. It's, it's a little, little cold in my belly. So, chest workout. Um, we're gonna go to a pec deck first. I like to get warm with a pec deck. Some people like to do push-ups. Um, I like to go with a pec deck. It gives me a good stretch, and then we go to work. All right. Pec deck flies. This is the first movement that I usually do when I'm coming into the gym and I'm gonna train chest. Like I said, it's a stretching movement. That's really what I'm feeling whenever I'm doing this movement. Um, it's used as a warm up. You can use it as a finisher after chest day as well. Whatever you want. I like it as a warm up. Um, I'm, my goal is to pump blood. Obviously, I wanna pump blood. I want to put lube and oil in the engine before I start it up. I want to make sure there's enough gas in the engine as well. So to make all that stuff work, I need to get it all going and get it warm. So, Pack Deck flies.
All right, forgot one thing. 2020's not that bad. I'm here. Wife's gonna kill me if she watches this. She's probably already rolling her eyes, but it's all good. Just did some incline hammer strength chest press. That was my pressing movement. Uh, for me, that's my heavy pressing movement. I'm not a power lifter, so I'm not gonna be doing the one to three rep maxes, okay? I wanna chase the pump, like I've said before. So now we're gonna go intro workout. The grind, EAAs plus hydration. Big melons, limited release flavor. It is no longer in stock, so I got my hands on it. And I like big melons. Yeah, sorry to my wife. I like um, the uh, watermelon flavor. Um, it tastes good. So I usually go with one scoop of big melons. And then we're gonna hit some incline dumbbell chest flies. So like I said, I wanna chase the pump. I was chasing the pump with the incline hammer strength uh, chest press. Chest is feeling full, feeling good, but now I want to get a nice stretching movement. So we're gonna go about three sets here, keep going to work. Thank <laughs> you. 
So, we are gonna end the chest workout with some cable flies. Now, when you're doing cable flies, you can hit your chest from all different types of angles, okay? And again, the bros are gonna look at this, or the people that like to train or know to train, the experts are gonna say, well, you can't train your upper chest, your lower chest, you just gotta train your chest. Well, I like to do different cable flies, okay? I like to go from the top, hands finish low. I like to go from the bottom, hands finish high. So what we're gonna do now today, we're gonna finish up chest with uh, cable fly, hands are gonna come right in the middle. Um, I can't do an incline hammer straight chest fly because we don't have one here. I know that's Dean's favorite movement. But Dean also said that I could eat 10 cookies from my cookie dealer and I wouldn't have to work out anymore. I was gonna be lean. So, you see how far that gets me. Uh, but no, anyways, um, we're gonna finish chest with some cable flies. Again, chasing the pump, feeling the blood flow, putting the demo day to work, the hydraulic to work, and the grind. EAAs plus hydration. They're all gonna keep you going through the workout if you drink your fluids. You gotta drink your water, you have to stay hydrated to fuel the pump. So, we just did a uh, press movement with my last ISO wide chest press movement. We're gonna finish with flies, we're gonna keep going to work. So, like I said, it's towards the end now. Uh, I'm just trying to burn out my chest now at this point. So, uh, when you're doing the cable flies, I've done a lot of FST7, which is obviously we know seven sets of maybe 10 reps, 12 reps. And the good thing about the flies is that you can, you can change up how you're doing the sets. So, um, here we only have two options, unfortunately, which is completely fine. You can still get a badass chest workout with it. Um, you can go with the bottom, like I was saying, you can go to the top. So I'm gonna stay probably doing about four sets. So I'm just gonna stay at the top, but you might see me change where I go with my hands throughout the course of the set, okay? I'm just trying to chase the pump. I want blood flow, that's what I want, okay? Um, again, I can't attest the chest growth to genetics um, or supplements and food. Um, I just have a feeling when I'm in here when I train my chest, okay? And that's what I think everybody needs to understand is that you need to have some sort of purpose, like you've heard Seth Ferrosi say, like you've heard other pros say, you have to have a purpose when you're in the gym. If you have no purpose when you're in the gym, you're just not gonna get results, okay? If you do get results, it's gonna take you a very, very long time. So the best way that I can describe this is when you're training in the gym, and I say this all the time, and you know, I, I my wife has kids, I, I, I now have stepkids, so you have to treat the gym and your workouts like you treat your kids. If your kids are a priority, which they always should be, the gym needs to be a priority when you're here. That's how you need to think. Okay, so we're gonna finish it off, we're gonna keep going to work. You can't do incline hammer strength chest flies until I get invited to headquarters to practice the sledge. So for now, I'm gonna do these. No more cookies. No more cookies. But maybe some pizza. Because Dean Perone said so.
right, so that was chest. Uh, we did pec deck flies. We did incline hammer strength, uh, chest press. That was our heavy movement uh, for the day. I like doing those. I feel safe, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not a bench press guy. Um, I have done bench press many, many times um, in my earlier days of training when I first got started, because everybody wants to do it. A lot of the guys at least want to do it. I've done incline barbell presses as well. I don't dislike them. I just feel better on the incline hammer strength chest press. Uh, that's just how it is. I just like the feeling of it. And to me, it's a little bit safer. We went to incline flies, like, like I said, stretching movement. We went to ISO wide chest press. That's kind of towards the end, so we don't do as many sets there. We're already full of blood. We're just gonna keep pumping and going, just get the heavy, heavy movements in. And then we end with the flies. So, like I said, that's pretty much it for chest. This is what I do on a regular basis. It doesn't matter if I am uh, dieting for a show, if I'm in an off season, I go with how I feel. I think that's one of the best things you can do when you're in the gym. You always wanna have a plan, yes, but you wanna go with how you feel as well when you're here. If your shoulder's telling you, I don't like that barbell press movement, I don't like that incline barbell press movement, you move the dumbbells, okay? It, it, it's, it's not gonna be any less of a, uh, how would I say, it's not gonna be any less of a man or manly movement. You're not gonna look like a pussy, okay? Excuse my language. Uh, but you can do the dumbbells, okay? I've seen many, many people build physiques off of dumbbells, including myself. So, go with how you feel. Go with what's gonna get you that workout. That's what you want when you're in here. You wanna have a workout that serves a purpose, okay? So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, this is the first one that I've done in since probably 2013. So, be on the lookout for more. We'll probably have a couple more workouts in. So maybe a back day, maybe an arm day, maybe some legs, I don't know. But keep following along. Um, I wanna thank you guys too that support me uh, with the Axe and Sledge. I really appreciate the support. Uh, I, should, I appreciate the, uh, the, the clients that train with me um, on a daily basis. Uh, you guys make what I do not feel like work. And that's pretty much what I want. Uh, I don't feel like I'm working. So even if it is work, I'm training people, I don't feel like I'm working. It's a good feeling. Uh, go to the YouTube channel, follow me on Instagram, BillyWise underscore 88 is Instagram. Uh, look me up on Facebook. Um, you can look up Be Fit Training as well on Facebook now. Uh, follow the page, stay up to date with me training people, uh, deals that I might have, what I'm doing, and keep going to work. That's all you can do.